So one of my least favorite topics in medicine was biostats. Well, why is that? It's because I'm into medicine, not statistics. Well, they do play a hand in, uh, in the research and all the trials. You need to learn to read literature. So this is why we're going to be going over some of the types of errors, and then we're going to be going over a Punnett square. So we've got these squares. And let's, let's quickly discuss, here's a completed square, and it's going to show your true positives. So TP standing for true positives, false positives, false negatives, and true negatives. Well, what does all this mean? I have an empty square down here, and we'll go over this uh, kind of step by step, just to ho hopefully explain it in a different fashion uh, than maybe what you've heard before. So here we have, uh, on the top, we show the disease. So we either have the disease or you don't. So let's, let's choose a random disease like diabetes. We either have diabetes or you don't have diabetes. Now, we also came up with a test. Let's say it's a, uh, it's a blood sugar test to test blood sugar levels to determine whether or not a patient may or may not have diabetes. The test has two outcomes. That blood sugar test could be either positive or it could be negative. There's going to be no gray zone, no middle zone uh, for our sake. It's either you either have diabetes or you don't. So there are four different options. You either have diabetes, and after you do that test, you test positive, that's a true positive. That's what TP stands for. It's where you actually have the disease, and your test picks it up. That would be a good test. It's a true positive. Now, on the other hand, if you don't have diabetes, and your test says you don't have diabetes, that would be a true negative. So we filled in two already. The trues mean the test and the disease kind of correlate. They're, they're saying the same thing. In actuality, you don't have the disease, and the test says you don't have the disease. That would be true. Now, the false positive and the false negative, that's when these don't match up correctly. So if you don't have diabetes, but your test says you do, if you're not guilty, but the jury says you are, uh, then that would be called a false positive. So, false positive if you don't have diabetes, but you're accidentally mistaken that, uh, that the test says you do, that would be a false positive. Uh, on the other hand, false negatives would be where uh, you actually have diabetes, but the test says you don't. So, you may be guilty, but the jury says you don't. Uh, so that would be a false negative. Now, there are different types of errors. So this would be an error because these two don't match up. And this would be an error because these two don't match up. So there's two different types of errors. Now, a type 1 and a type 2 error. Type 1 can also be called alpha, an alpha error. And then a type 2 can be called a beta error. Um, it, it just depends on how the question is going to be formatted. So a type 1 error. This is going to be a false positive error. So, so there are two different ways that you can remember this. Uh, you can either think an alpha error is going to be a false positive, or you can simply remember it's going to be in the upper right quadrant of this, of this Punnett square. Um, either way, this is going to be your alpha or type 1 error. Your beta, on the other hand, are going to be your false negatives. So this is going to be another important concept, especially when using confidence intervals. So if you say, I have a 95% chance uh, that we're not having any type of error, um, so your alpha value could be 0 0.05, it just says you have a 95% chance that, uh, that you don't have type 1 error. Uh, I'll cover that in a later video, but for our sake right now, Hopefully you're, you're starting to understand that there are four different outcomes. Um, a couple of them are true, and a couple of them are false. Those false ones are associated with the types of errors that we can make. So if during our clinical study we commit a type 1 error, it means that the disease and the test do not match.